guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, how the heck are you? My name is Tandy. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I got some new makeup items in, so today I'm just going to be getting ready for my day while putting together a look. If that sounds like something that you are interested in, then just keep on watching. All right. So my skin is already primed. Y'all know my friend Cammie. Well, Cammie launched her new makeup collection called Kitty Coquette. She has these little gel masks and Today I'm using the hydrating one. I've had it on my skin for a little while now and it definitely didn't upset my skin. Um, I wasn't exactly sure how to use these, but I did hit up Cami and ask her if I should wash them off. She told me that she recommends washing them off, but I really like how my skin is feeling, so I'm not going to. <laughs> like my skin feels super smooth. I use the three minute, Gosh, rude. <laughs> I used the three minute um, hydrating gel mask and yo, my skin feels amazing right now. It just feels so smooth. It looks very glowy. It looks super hydrated. So I'm not gonna wash it off and we just gonna keep it moving. Okay. I'm gonna move on to my eyes though because Kitty Coquette has an eyeshadow palette and this eyeshadow palette is so First of all, the fact that everything is like kitty themed, super gorgeous, especially if you're into cats, you know? This is the color story. Oh my gosh. Just the color choices, okay? It's definitely giving me very much Tandy vibes. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this palette. There's so many different shades to choose from. Um, there's, what, 16 shades? One of them, though, is a cream eyeshadow base, so we will be using that today. Okay, so I have one eye done that I did off camera just to get kind of like a feel for what kind of vibe I'm going for today. As you can see, I even added the lash. Actually, this is a very big lash, <laughs> but you see the vibe. So let's recreate this on this side. To start off, I'm dipping into that shade Lace right here which is like a um, bronzy kind of warm tone brown. Just going to place that all into my crease. This is a really pretty color. Super pretty for the crease. Now I'm just going to blend that out with a blending brush just to diffuse the edges because we don't want any sharp lines in makeup. Next, I'm going to go into the shade Charmed, which is this shade right here. I'm gonna go into Charmed and just put that right over that shade that we put in the crease. Not too much, because we don't want it to be completely dark. We do want to give it a little bit of depth. And I'm just gonna build up the intensity of that. I'm not picking up any more on the brush just blending it out into the crease so that is the color that i do have on the lid is evenly distributed all right that looks good now i'm just going to take a little bit of bare that you see right here and put that on the edges of where those two colors meet that way it's a nice gradient it's not too dark that's a tip if you ever add too much of a dark shadow you can just go in with something really really light like damn near white and put that on top of it and it will lighten that shade for you okay so i'm kind of feeling where this is going in my crease now i'm going to add in the lid color kitty coquette has these they're not even marble but they're like shimmer sparkle it's a weird pressed formula but let me tell you guys this shimmer formula is so bomb when i put it on my lid on this eye i was like i was not expecting that color so this is the color that i used on my lid here at first glance this daydream color right here looks a little bit more purple than shimmery but when you swatch it on your finger it gives off this like rose gold color do you see that on my finger sis 
the tea, okay? It's like a pretty rose gold color, super pretty. But we're gonna take this color right here and put that all over the lid. Look how gold that made it, oh my gosh, super cute. And then I'm gonna take that blending brush and just buff out the crease area so it's not super shimmery in my crease. I'm not really a big fan of having shimmers in my crease. Now I'm going to line my lids with this new Zola Lashes Magic Lash Liner. And this is super convenient. I know you guys have seen so many people come out with their own version of these. They really are super convenient because you can create a wing and just apply your lashes to the wing. Definitely a bigger wing than the other side, but we're going to work with what we got. I'm gonna add my lashes with my fingers, by the way. Who is she? Lashes are on. And what I'm gonna do to kind of get rid of that black, not really necessarily get rid of it altogether, but I want to kind of conceal my lashes so that they look like they're growing from my lids instead of looking like a fake lash. So what I do is I take a little bit of my skin from the top and then I just, press down on the lash to really kind of merge my lashes with the fake lashes so that it creates a nice seamless blend. My lash is on and now we can move on to the rest of the face. How do I open this? Okay, there we go. So Kitty Coquette has a sponge. Ooh, it feels super squishy. First, I'm gonna take some concealer. Add a little bit. I use two different concealers. Boom. And while my concealer is drying down a little bit, I'm going to take my powder foundation. Got this trick actually from Cami. So shout out to Cami for that. And she taught me this trick that if you ever want your powder foundation to give you just a little bit more coverage, she said to just use a dry sponge instead of a damp one like a sponge for powder application okay cam let's see what it's hitting on and it definitely was hitting but i will say that i think this works best when you do have good skin prep okay now first impressions of the sponge um it's very tough but it's still soft and i can tell that when i go to wet it it's just gonna give me a little bit more of a bounce. Definitely a good quality sponge. Make sure you get your ears because you don't wanna be a different color on your ears. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to use the other side and blend out my concealer. And I'm trying to concentrate that lighter color in the front part of my under eye. With the darker concealer, try to concentrate that on the end. Take a little bit of setting powder and set that under eye. I know I'm using my favorite, this Chanel, okay? Because she, she is that girl. See, lashes just really transform the face. Like, I'm over here looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, so, you was a bad when you got the lashes in, okay? You did that. I did, I did. Now let's take some bronzer. Cause y'all know I love me a good bronze moment, okay? I'm gonna take just a little bit of bronzer over my forehead. Use some bronzer on my nose. Y'all know I love bronzer on the nose. I'm just gonna blend with a different brush all the powder I have on my face. I really recommend always having a clean powder brush on hand. So that way, if you are like me and you use a lot of powder products, you have a brush that can kind of blend everything together. I'm gonna take that charmed color underneath my eye. Just wanna do the outer corner though. And I'm gonna take some mascara for my bottom lashes. Okay, the eye look is complete. The base is complete because I'm not putting on any blush because I'm going to be wearing a mask. I'm gonna add a little bit of my Colada Beauty Gloss. Just a little bit of the strawberry. Just a twinge, you know, just a twinge to give me a little bit of moisture on those lips. And this is my completed look. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you like or found this video helpful in any way, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on this look down in the comments below. And a huge shout out to Kitty Coquette for sending me all of these beautiful items that you saw on my face today. I will leave a list of all of the products that I use on my face down below in the description box. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you are not already. YouTube be unsubscribing people from my channel. So just make sure that you're subscribed, okay? You don't wanna miss any of my future uploads. I hope to see you soon. Bye.